Dear viewers, today I am going to show you that how we can make structural analog of our compound or we can say that how we can perform ligand based virtual screening of our small molecule. So the software or online server we can use is Swiss Similarity. So Swiss Similarity can be used for screening of our compound against a la large library of compounds. So first of all, we uh, can make a structure here, which is our compound, Curie compound, we can say, and uh, or we can paste here smileys for our compound. So here is our compound, like here, it is our compound in ChemDraw and uh, First of all, we should know that we should keep in mind that we cannot save here smiley's file through ChemDraw. So we have no option of saving chem, uh, our structure in smiley's file. So we can take it into Discovery Studio Visualizer. I have made tutorials on for this software. So paste here. We can add hydrogen or if we are not going to add, no problem. We can save it in smiley's file. So this is our compound. So save as. Now we can save it as smiley's file. So I have already saved a file of this compound. Let's suppose here I have a smiley's file. I'm going to show you. Here is our smiley's file. Now copy this file. And paste it on this online server. So paste here. Okay. Now this is our file. Now how we are going to perform screening. So we have several uh, options like FDA approved drugs. We can select that we are going to choose the similar compounds of our compound are analogs from the FDA approved drugs or experimental drugs or investigational drugs are on the basis of these FP2 fingerprints are on the basis of these we can also select like here I am going to select here on the basis of FP2 fingerprints are combined of all these okay combination of all these and also we can check uh, bioactive compounds from ligands ligand from the PDB where already screened bioactive compounds are available in inside the active site of target or receptor. We can select from the Campbell library or kinase inhibitors or GPCR ligands or also we can choose or select the commercially available drugs like zinc drug like library okay, or virtual library. So these are our different options we can use after checking one of it we will submit our file and after some time it will perform library screening so for this i have already make a virtual screening library because it takes some time so we don't need it okay we are ready so it will be like this we are ready perform this before making video so it is Library screen from zinc drug like library. Okay, screening method is combined, and this is the our date and time. So, this is our compound, and uh, let me show you that we can use these options like here send to Swiss similarity, or we can use this is our Swiss target prediction. So, we can predict target, which is our previous video, which was our previous video. We we uh, analyze the prediction of target for our compounds and here is the Swiss admin so we can check the admit profile I will show you later so for each compound we can perform this like here similarity or Swiss target prediction Swiss admin or get the smileys of this compound so we have this score 0.999 it gives us similarity score that it is how how much it is similar to our compound and this is zinc database of this compound so it shows that this is our 
this is the zinc id of that compound okay so it gives all the information for this compound hydrogen bond donors acceptors net charge and the rotatable bonds and all these information are given here for this compound so going back so these are these are our compounds again so if you look at here these are now it is 0 0.983 0 0.982 and again 0.974 similarity score is going to decrease 0.968 and until end it will be I think now it is 0 0.818 so it is our last 0 0.818 so it gives all the similar compounds according to our base on our compound so we can save this file in CSV file or PDB file or JPG image file so I have already saved this file in Excel file like here I am going to show you it will give us all the no so it is our smileys file so zinc ID similarity score and this is our smileys for this compound okay so if we want to make this compound so I am going to make a compound of this copy and I want to save it so I will make it here like here file new molecular window file and insert from file or smileys so we can we can pick our file this whole file here now this is our whole file we can take and we can take one by one and insert here the insert form smileys no, smiley string and okay so this is our compound okay so this way we can select from here like here I am going to take next compound copy smileys and insert from smileys paste here okay so this is our second compound so in this way we can make our all the compounds here in 3d or 2d structure and uh, so this is our swiss similarity we can make different options we have different options we can use like i i want to take this or screen this for add me so swiss add me now this is our smileys list here okay and this is our compound okay so it will give us all the information about absorption distribution metabolism excretion and toxicity like here these are the physicochemical properties okay this gives us that this ring is very important so it is going beyond this it means it is not good according to these scales so you can check these scales on the website that what does it mean so these are the descriptors for this compound lipophilicity log octanol water partition coefficient log p values so these are the log p values and this is consensus of all these log p values and here is the water solubility we can use log s which gives us water solubility and this is the pharmacokinetic so gastrointestinal absorption blood brain barrier permeate or not or, and also it gives us detail about this okay so pgp substrate so what is this it is p glycoprotein substrate okay so it gives information if we make a cursor here gastrointestinal absorption okay like here log is and uh, cytochrome p450 inhibitors or p3a4 inhibitors are not cytochrome inhibitors which gives us metabolism or which gives us that uh, how much uh, how it will be excreted and log kp that gives skin permeation lipinski rule of five yes it is uh, obeying lipinski rule of five zero violation goose rule uh, rule and then weber okay and the different rules 
and then it gives that medicinal chemistry these are the drug likeness and here is the medicinal chemistry it is lead like or not so one violation that its molecular weight is greater than 250 so these are the swiss admi prediction for our compound or if we are if we are going to check our swiss admi from uh, for our a compound like here i, I will show you that enter a list of smileys here when you will open this swiss admi so here is our option for swiss admi Okay, after such Swiss target prediction, Swiss admi, then Swiss similarity. So this Swiss admi, we will open Swiss admi, it will be like this. So we can enter a list of smileys here. After entering, we will make a run. Okay, now this is our first compound and this is our second compound. So it will move on. So how much compounds we have, it will give all the Admi profile of all the compounds so we can uh, so we can select from here like here I want to select this this smileys file and I want to paste here after making it only smileys file we can paste a whole list and then we can screen that our compounds for their pharmacokinetics property okay so today it's our video if you like my video, please subscribe and share. Thanks.